What if I told you that the best way to save money on groceries is to stop wasting food? Would you do something about it? Hello everybody, my name is Deb from Just Do Something Homestead and today I am going to share a secret on how to get your fresh fruits and even your vegetables to last twice as long as they do if you simply put it in your refrigerator. And I'm not talking about freezing them, dehydrating them, or canning them. I'm talking about having them stay fresh twice as long. These strawberries are two weeks old. I did absolutely nothing special to them. I didn't even wash them. All I did was vacuum seal them in a jar. And then I put that jar in my refrigerator. That was it. Now this jar was completely full, but I love strawberries. So we have been eating them every day and now there's only a few left, but these strawberries are pretty near perfect. Today, I am going to show you how to vacuum seal grapes, strawberries, blackberries, blueberries, and raspberries to lengthen the time they stay fresh. I bought these fruits today at Aldi and I only go to Aldi once every two weeks. So my fruits need to last for two weeks. You may live closer to the grocery store than I do, but here in West Virginia, I need to drive a half hour to the store. And so every time I do that, it's a huge time commitment and it takes gas. So by consolidating how many times I run to the store, I save money. And if my fruit lasts for two weeks, then I didn't waste any food. And again, I saved money. In the past, I have showed you how to vacuum seal dried foods. Those dried foods became shelf stable and you could save them for a year or two or even more. But with fruit, it's a little different. They do not become shelf stable. In fact, you're going to vacuum seal them and put them in your refrigerator. But how exactly does that help my fruit to last longer? Well, a vacuum sealer removes air. And if you remove air, it slows down the process of your fruit going bad. Let's go over the equipment you need to vacuum seal. First, you're gonna need a vacuum sealer. Mine is Food Saver, and the special thing about it, it has to have the attachments. So it needs to say accessory, and have this piece right here. That is what's going to plug into the top of your canning jars. I bought my food saver at Walmart several years ago and it was less than 200. I went into the store just this week. This food saver is $199.99. In addition to having the vacuum sealer, you're going to need jar sealers. And unfortunately they don't come with your vacuum sealer. I truly wish that they will get to the point where this is included. Now this one is a wide mouth. I choose to vacuum seal almost exclusively wide mouth jars. I ordered mine off of Amazon and this one is the regular mouth. This one is the wide mouth and they do come as a set. So when you order them, you will get both of those. Um, but I rarely use this one. Typically I'm using wide mouth. And because I use a wide mouth jar sealer, I need wide mouth canning jars. Now the ones in the back, those are half gallon. They come six to a case. Then I get wide mouth quart. These are wide mouth pint. But when I'm doing fruit, I often use a wide mouth half pint, especially for things like raspberries. I don't want them smashed. And so these are by Kerr, the rest of them are by Ball. If you buy a case of new jars, they are going to come automatically with the lids and with the rings, and you're going to need both of those to vacuum seal. The very first thing you're going to do is wash all of your jars and lids. The reason I got so many raspberries, first off, it's my favorite fruit, but second off, they were on sale at Aldi for $1.99 a container, and for me, that is just fantastic. 
Now, if you're like me, you may be saying, well, you know, I hate to spend the money on fruit or vegetables right now because I have a garden, I have fruit, and it's only going to be a couple months and I'll have my own. Let me tell you, your body can't survive on just carbs and meats. They need fruits and vegetables. And so it was messing me up. I was gaining weight. Uh, it was messing up my plumbing. So please, I know food is expensive. In fact, I was outraged today to see some of the prices in my other grocery store. Um, but you need to eat fruits and vegetables. And if you have children, they especially need to eat healthy. I'm going to start with my raspberries and use a half pint jar. And I do not wash these raspberries before I put them in there for the simple reason of raspberries, they're going to become mushy if they are washed before you're using them. So I do not wash them. I put them directly into my jar. And as you can see, I put them carefully. I don't shove them in there, <laughs> dump them in there. Nope, just one or two at a time and put them into my jar. Then when I'm ready to use them, like tomorrow on my cereal, I will shake out a handful and then rinse them at that point. Once my jar is fairly filled, as you can see, it's not sticking up at all. Then I'm going to put one of these flat lids on top. You don't have to do anything special. It's so easy. And then put my jar sealer on top of that. Push down hard so it snaps on. I plug the cord into the top of my sealer, just like that, nice and tight. And then I'm gonna turn my machine on and hit accessory and it's going to start pulling out the air. And my food saver shuts off after it is finished, takes probably 30 seconds at the most. Remove this top, listen for the air. There, I heard the air and take off the top. And it was that easy, so super easy. So I'm gonna push on it, make sure that seal is tight. Try to pull the lid off. You're not gonna be able to do it with your fingers. And that tells me this is sealed. So the next thing I'm gonna do is put a ring on it. And then the only difference from my powdered items, I put it into the refrigerator. Now, tomorrow morning, after you take out the number of raspberries you want on your cereal, there are three things you can do with this jar. The first one is to just put this lid back on and screw the ring on, put it in your refrigerator. The second thing you can do is re-vacuum seal it. And my vacuum sealer is on my countertop and it is right next to my refrigerator. So it takes 30 seconds to seal that back up. The third thing, you don't have time for either of those. All you need to do is invest in some of these plastic lids. They are quick and easy just to put on the top of the jar and get it back in the fridge. This time, I'm going to seal it into a pint-sized jar. Same process, you're gonna put your lid on. You're going to put the sealer on top. Yep, push it down until it snaps. Plug it in. And my machine is already on, so I am just going to push accessory. All right, it shut off automatically. Remove the top. Pull it off and check the seal. The lid is indented, and if I pull on the side, it's not coming up. So put a ring on it and store it in the refrigerator. Now on to blackberries. And just like the raspberries, I'm going to start by putting them in a half pint jar. I was able to divide that six ounce container into two half pint jars, and now I'm going to seal them both.
Next, I'm going to do strawberries, and I'm going to use a half gallon um, canning jar. This jar is actually the one I use more than anything else for vacuum sealing and strawberries. They are super easy. All you're gonna do is fill the jar and seal. For this, I often put the larger ones down on the bottom. Notice I don't drop it. That's another advantage to these wide mouth is that I can reach my hand into the jar. Now, if you see any bad ones like this one right here, it looks like he's got a bad spot, so I'm not gonna put him in. Um, just like a, a bad apple will ruin the ones around it, so will a strawberry. In fact, most fruits will. All right, I'm just gonna fill this jar up. And this jar pretty much got filled with two containers. I have that one with a soft spot in there and two that just didn't fit. So we'll use those first. Easy peasy, and put a ring on it. Strawberries, and these strawberries are gonna be good for at least two weeks. I am moving on to blueberries, and blueberries is a little bit different. I scoop them up into my hand, and if there are any that are soft or bad, I put those in the feed bin for my rabbits and my chicks. So the rest of them go in the jar. The only prep work I do with the blueberries is if they have a stem, I immediately remove them. That way they are definitely ready to use. I have filled two pint jars and blueberries are a little tougher than raspberries. And so I do pound it down on my countertop to have them settle a little bit in there. And then I fill in with some more up on top. And vacuum seal just like the others. And the last fruit I have to share is my grapes. Now you can pull each one off the stem if you like. I'm not even gonna bother. I'm gonna put them into my half gallon jar. That entire bag of grapes fit perfectly. If you ever need more room, just shake it around. I am frequently asked, how do I get that lid off the jar? I bought this cute little gadget from Amazon and to open it, let me show you with this jar I just did. Um, it's off the lid. All right, to open it, I am just going to stick it between there and there and pull it up and it's not going to damage my lid. And so I can use it again over and over again, which the difference between vacuum sealing and canning you can reuse these lids over and over and over until they stop sealing. As far as canning, one time, that is all that is safe. Remember, all of these fruits are vacuum sealed. They are not shelf stable. They will be stored in your refrigerator until you use them all up. And there you have it, two weeks worth of fruit. And of course, in this house, it will never last for two weeks, but that is what it looks like, and it is going to stay fresh. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. 
Have a blessed day. Bye-bye.